Our envoy returned to Britain to... This is the story told by a young Indian sailor back on brief leave to a dusty inland village. A story of the sea, which his village friends have never seen. Navy's life is very strange and strange. We are watching the whole of the Indian-Sundari roads and we don't give the enemy to the enemy. We have guns as big as tree trunks. And there are many of us on one ship, as many as in our village, but no women, so we don't quarrel so much. Not that it would matter if we did. We come from so many different parts of India, we would all quarrel in different languages anyway. There are many ships in the harbour waiting, solid as those islands in our lake. On the sea, if you can't imagine the sea, think of all the fields and all the plains you've ever seen and change them into water. On the sea, we have our processions. You should see one of them as it lines up in the harbour, like a row of great ceremonial carts gathering in the courtyard. A long procession of ships and in them guns and food and soldiers. It's one of our jobs to go up front and sweep the road clean for this procession. Maybe there are mines in the way, just underneath the water. We throw a hollow steel float over the side and let it trail behind on a long wire. This wire is sharp and slices through the mooring of the mine just like our kite competitions in the village, when we put glass on our string to cut the other fellow's string. And then we shoot it. You should see the procession as it comes out of the town onto the sea. All the time we're sending out signals to hold it on the road. We cleared the road, the procession has to follow it. We ride ahead and along the sides and we keep watch all the time. Up on the bridge we can see all round us and we watch the sea and the sky. Others practice at the guns, in case we who are watching see a mine, in case we see an enemy plane, in case we see an enemy ship. We never know when one will sneak up over the horizon and like a wild animal in the jungle, it won't hoot to say it's coming. Maybe there's a submarine somewhere in the road. We deal with that like those men who shoot at fish with rifles over at the lake. They don't need to hit the fish, they knock it out with the force of the bullet in the water. And the force of that is too much for any submarine. One of our planes comes around the ship watching for danger. An extra pair of eyes for us like an eagle turning for prey. And so we sweep the sea clean, and the long procession comes out safely, with guns and food and soldiers. Sometimes, as I say, they look like ceremonial carts, but sometimes they look like a string of buffaloes coming across the lake. We always herd them out safely. That's our job.